Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my most complimented scents. And I did film this video about a year ago, but this is the updated version. The first one being Navitus Venom of Love. This is a layering perfume for me, but when I tell you, I am guaranteed a compliment. Every single time I pull for this, I layer this with so much. Bacart Rouge 540, Replica Jazz Club, Zara Ebony Wood, BDK Velvet Tonka, so many fragrances. And I might get a compliment wearing those fragrances alone, Bacart Rouge 540 for sure, but I will always get compliments when I specifically pull for Venom of Love. There is something about cherry, <laughs> apparently, that people are just magnetized to. Take the Tom Ford Lost Cherry DNA. Like that's how the cherry is done in here. But this lasts all day. The performance is phenomenal with this. And this has a beautiful dark chocolate note in here as well. So it smells like dark chocolate covered dark juicy cherries with a boozy undertone. It is so yummy. So for people who are looking for a straightforward chocolate cherry fragrance, this is amazing. Um, you can absolutely wear this on its own. I personally love to layer this to give it more complexity and I really enjoy the addictive gourmand touch that this brings to all of those other fragrances. So mouthwatering and delicious. All right. One of my most reached for summer fragrances is Lancome Idol Aura. And this scent screams summer. It is so fun, happy, uplifting. This is my favorite salty vanilla fragrance I've ever smelled. And this is such an easygoing, unbelievably likable salty vanilla. I find that salty vanillas often to my nose, okay, at least to my nose. Unfortunately, just smell funky. They just smell off to me. Um, this is not that. This is not a blast of salt. And the vanilla isn't done in this like really sweet, sugary way. Those notes in particular are just like perfectly done, very likable. And that is all resting on a bed of jasmine, a light touch of rose. It smells like a beautiful girl wearing a floral sundress, dross walking along the beach, the shore. Byredo G Water, arguably the most chic scent I know. Nothing quite screams the clean girl chic aesthetic to me as much as this. This is the most perfect, addictive, dainty, feminine, natural blend of vanilla, sandalwood, pine, juniper, citrus. It is just so perfectly, masterfully, effortlessly done. It's I'm not trying, it's I am. It smells like the most luxurious body cream at this like hotel resort spa in the woods, like in an evergreen forest or something. It's truly the perfect balance of everything and I simply cannot imagine someone disliking this scent. I know there are some of you out there that do because it's just impossible for everyone on the planet to like a scent, but I just find it extremely likable. And obviously so do other people, because of course this is one of my most complimented scents. The sandalwood is giving off this sawdust shaving, creamy powdery quality. The vanilla is not too sweet. It's not edible. It's not too green of a scent, but you're getting that fresh, touch of an outdoorsy vibe, like you're amongst the fresh trees. That creamy powdery orris, that fresh burst of citrus, it's just delightful. Like this, in one word, lovely. Next up, Julia has a gun Magnolia Bliss. If you are a girl that enjoys perfumes that smell like perfume, but you want an updated modern version of that, you wanna try something else besides Chloe or Chanel, give this a try. I really think you would enjoy it. It's not anything groundbreaking or crazy, it's just pretty. It's giving free-spirited bohemian meets Timeless classy. It actually quite reminds me of Chloe Nomad Absolute, which I love that perfume. Um, that has a prominent oak moss note, and that's not listed in here, 
but I'm getting that vibe, this fresh, clean, earthy feel with that perfumey kind of presence. It's clean, musky. We get some crisp white florals. There's a tart, non-juicy tangerine note. Like you're getting that, like the tangerine is still a bit crunchy. You know what I mean? That tang and zest, some fresh spiciness from the ginger. We have those citrus notes, of course. Very likable and also very refreshing for warm days in the spring and summer. If you're just like, hot. If you're feeling hot, it's a dumb reach fragrance for me. This works for literally any occasion. You're just going to smell clean, put together. Very nice. Another one, Floral Street Arizona Bloom. Not only is this one of my most complimented fragrances, but it often is one of people's top favorites when I make samples for people in my life. Like they request a certain profile and I include this in there in their pack, they all say this is one of their favorites, if not their favorite. They're like, what a beautiful, unique, your skin but better summer scent. It smells like a musky, clean, out of the shower scent with this fresh, beachy, salty vibe, freshly cracked open coconut. We have cashmere wood. It's so refreshing. It cools you down on a warm day. And it's also just naturally sexy. Like this is by far one of the sexiest musk fragrances I've smelled. And the wood is giving off this like transparent, light, airy wood vibe. Now you guys know, woody fragrances, that's one of my top favorite categories to wear, but it's not one of my most complimented. That's a, for me thing, my preference. However, this on the other hand, compliment magnet. People go crazy over this. BDK Gris Charnel? Um, I don't know. It just hits the spot for people. This is a beautiful, fresh, spicy sandalwood fragrance. It's aromatic. We get the black tea, a light, powdery base from iris and a subtle natural sweetness from tonka and fig but what i get predominantly is the wood the fresh spiciness it's so good and i feel like the color of the juice really represents the overall mood of this fragrance it's giving very neutral color tone palette parisian chic on a slightly gloomy day it's upscale refined polished. Mikalef's Note Vanille, I think it's a no-brainer that of course vanilla is um, a very complimented scent. For the most part, it's very universally flattering. Just as a note on its own, but this scent in particular, this particular vanilla is just very likable. It's a boozy vanilla. We have rum and cognac, but it's a very palatable, beginner-friendly, boozy vanilla. It's just the right amount to give it depth and character, but it's not like, boom, in your face, here's a blast of alcohol. It's warm, cocooning. We have a nice amber sandalwood base, and there's no cinnamon listed in here, but I almost get a little light element of that, like cinnamon buttons are in the background. But overall, I get this experience of like this boozy vanilla being aged in wooden barrels. It opens up with a burst of citrus and that quickly dissipates and then of course develops into the scent I described. This scent was also inspired by skin being warmed underneath the sun and I just think it's such a comforting, yummy scent to wear in the fall. It's just lovely and truly one of the best from Mikalef. This and then I'm gonna <laughs> Transition to my other favorite. You already know what it is. These two are just the ultimate fragrances from Mikalef, in my opinion. And um, yeah, the people around me seem to think so as well. Elangen Gold. This is one of the most elegant, beautiful, ethereal, tropical fragrances in my collection. And they've done that so well. I love the ingredients that Mikalef uses. Everything smells so natural and I can just smell the amount of love that they poured into these perfumes. We get this beautiful, fluffy, creamy vanilla coconut. It doesn't smell artificial at all. And there is a bit of a gourmand quality, but not overly so because that ylang-ylang of course takes 
presence in this fragrance and that does have a little bit of a banana facet and that's so fun and yummy but an undertone to that it's not it's not like you're gonna be walking around people are gonna be like you smell like bananas but it definitely adds to the happy tropical feel of this scent and then of course we have a likable smooth sandalwood it smells like the color yellow or gold it just instantly puts me in a good mood and when i wear this people are just like Oh my gosh, what is that scent? You smell so pretty. They're like, is that you? And I'm like, yes, it's me. Next up, I feel like this is in practically everyone's most complimented video. It's just a classic. It's an icon. Kaoli Vanilla 28. People go crazy, crazy over this. It is so scrumptious. It is so good. Like I want to drink this. Warm, toasty, caramelized brown sugar vanilla. Oh my gosh, meets this like pure organic vanilla extract. Stunning. There's of course tonka bean adding to the sweetness and in the base, which is just the cherry on top for me, it's what gives this vanilla its richness and depth. And that of course just amplifies the darker your juice gets that amber and amber wood note. So absolutely delectable. When I wear this, people will, come up to me and tell me I smell like a plethora of vanilla desserts, whatever comes to their mind, you know? Whatever it be, I will take it. I will take it, I'll take two. And the last one is my second favorite, Kaoli. And this is another vanilla, but with a completely different spin to it. This is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21, and this smells like you're staying at a resort. Palm Springs, Palm Desert. I know I've said this several times, but it's a vibe I get. Drinking a sweet coconut colada. It's the vibe. You are in full blown vacation mode. You are embodying that. Taking that to the 10th degree, we have some beautifully blended white floral fragrances. There's an element of like a luxurious summery body oil lotion vibe. There's jasmine, gardenia, tuberose. It smells carefree, truly not a care in the world on a sunny day, lounging by the pool. And like I said, a thick, sweet, like, coconut cream or coconut milk note. It's just a feel good scent. When I wear this, people need to know the exact name of the scent. They're like, I will be jotting that down. I will be purchasing that and living my carefree life. Thank you very much. So that completes my list of most complimented fragrances. I would love to know yours. Please let me know. And any stories you might have, I love those. Like this woman was chasing me down the street. Tell me. We want to know. Set the scene. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you want to see me in any more videos, I'd appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.